not something that defenses spend a lot of time preparing for. But this guy has a survival instinct and a knack for knowing when exactly to do it. Here's the first carry now for Todd Gurley. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 15 yards on the play, first down. First down, Jim. Here's Gurley. And he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. It's a gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard. They run, it's Gurley. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Two yards, good enough for a first. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game. It's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. 15 yards, first down to Atlanta. Hell get two here stopped at the 30. Well any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly and that was because the defensive front they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot and stacked him up. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive is going pretty well. I could come right back at them. Fine work by the Patriot D there, and it's fourth down. It was the veteran Devin McCourney. He got a hand in there to break that one up. And we'll see Young Way Koo now for the Falcons. It'll come from the right hash. It's a 47 yard attempt. But this one's not close. Not even close. Short and to the right. It's no good. And this will remain a scoreless game. So a bit of a weird kick there. That wasn't an overly long attempt, but that never had a chance. You almost wonder if he might have maybe got that one on the laces because it kind of knuckled on him a bit. And this one winds up in empty possession. Now a pass dumped off to his running back. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Throwing again on second down. Newton, pressure brought in, and the Falcons get there for the sack. When we talk about players blitzing all the time, and laugh and sometimes call just straight ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. First down, Patriots. Eluding the pressure right. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Incomplete. It's third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. To the air again, Newton. Open man is Jacoby Myers. He's got it. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. and 10, Newton. It's grabbed in the middle by Wright. And 
And they'll get this down to the 10. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. And this is why trying to cover the angle route is so difficult. But anyone playing the linebacker position, when they see a running back out of the backfield widen, because he heads towards the flat first, oftentimes you widen too much and overcommit. He cuts up inside. That's what we saw there. Nice pickup for a first down. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Brings up second and eight at the Falcons' nine-yard line. To throw is Newton. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. And eight yards. Out of the huddle now for play number nine on this drive. This is third down and eight. From the gun, here's Newton. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Complete to a nine-yard touchdown grab. As his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. Nick Folk for the point after. All drives that result in points hurt a defense. But when they are the sustained variety, play after play, and they just can't get off the field and stop them, that can be demoralizing. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. Taken in the end zone. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And they've got to be a little bit frustrated about that last drive. Missed field goal. Always hurts a team because, you know, you put something out there, you've given yourself a chance, you're in range, and the ball doesn't go through the post. But it's not something to panic about, I don't believe. Just keep playing and keep going. Brings up second and 11 at the 24-yard line. On second and 11 now. Ryan, and he fires one that's intercepted. Ryan with the he picks it off. And he takes this one back into the end zone. Has a touchdown. For the extra point. Did I just see what I thought I saw? Did I just see what I thought? That had to be. Come on, say it for me. Say it for me. Who picked up that pass? Some free safety. Oh, you got to have those great skills back there. Eyes, anticipation, great hands. And, of course, how about the fluid moves afterwards to take it all the way to the house? Sounds like you're watching your old game film up here in your head. Yeah, you know, that's the dream I had of being that player. I just never was. Fielded in the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. They'll try and start the drive with Gurley. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. He was brought down. The good run on first down followed up by a not so good run on second down. Now let's find out they're going to stick with the run here on third down. A lot of people would love to see some play action here. I say go with your best running play over your best block. Get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Brings up second and 11. On second and 11 now. Ryan, he completes it to Julio Jones. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 45-yard line. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. From the gun, it's Ryan. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. 
as his old brain remembers. When I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Second and ten. It's Ryan again. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack. Back at the 47-yard line. Well, someone's been up to the task so far in this game. They are already up a couple of scores, Brandon. And guess what? I think they're just going to pin their ears back now and get up field and get after the quarterback. It's been such an impressive first half to get that one. Should have taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Stephon Gilmore. Hunter Sterling Hoffrichter out now on fourth down. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. They'll indeed go for it with Ryan. He's going to take another shot here, and it's knocked away. J.C. Jackson there defensively to knock it away. Their partner, I'm not really sure what in the world they were thinking on fourth and long there at this stage in the game, but you think social media may be firing up a little bit right now? Oh, the coach is trending right now. All right, there's no <laughs> doubt about it. People are wondering what that decision was. But it takes me back to a number of years ago. A very successful coach in the league had told himself before a playoff game, he's going to be aggressive. No matter what, he's going to be aggressive. And it ran his team into some real problems early, and they got upset in that playoff game. Let's see if this team can recover. Well, that's aggressive in capital letters with glitter, seven underscore. I mean, that's that's the definition of aggressive. Yeah, you can almost hear the cheerleaders doing the be aggressive chant <laughs> behind him, and he listened to it. third down. Newton. He hits one complete. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Now a first down throw for Newton. The fight is tight in here, Asiasi. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Again, Newton. He rifles one that's intercepted. The Falcons take over first and 10 at their own four-yard line. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And this offense last time turned it over, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. They're lucky, though, because no points against the team on the board, but we'll see how they respond. Yeah, they're going to get a lot of credit to their defensive teammates, don't they? They had their backs on that last series, and because they did so, that allows the coach to still stay aggressive on offense and maybe go for it again in a similar situation. I was going to say, maybe makes that offense feel good, but when you know you've got a defense making stands like that. Yeah, that loosen up things a little bit. Right? Maybe play a little bit better the next time you have the ball. And that will be incomplete. That would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. So we've reached the intermission in what right now is a 13-point game. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Demir Bird returning it. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. The Patriots take over first and 10 at their own 36-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was, don't do that again. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I think that. I think that not only did he say that, 
but he also told him, let's put it in the end zone that it's supposed to be in, all right? The end zone we're trying to score. I know we're being a little bit facetious here, but the bottom line is take care of the football and everything else should flow from there. Quick lesson, never ask the play-by-play -play <laughs> guy a question. Hey, you're my partner. I know you're right there with me. Now Newton on first down to Michelle on the screen. That catch good for only a couple. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. Now a quick throw out wide to Myers. That one good for the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. Pass complete, but no gain. No yards. Yeah. So you file that as unsuccessful. Yeah, you do, don't you? Except on the stats, throwing the ball. Get a completion. You get a catch. Yeah. But still, no, no yardage. Okay. <laughs> throwing on third down. Newton. He's got the hook up to Lee. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. On the ground, Michelle. Foyasade Aluakon made the tackle there from his safety position. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. And he's got four down inside the 20 to the 18. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. <laughs> Trying to pound it in here with Michelle, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Patriots, they add on to their lead. Cam Newton now getting his guys ready to go for the two-point try. They're going to try and run. And no, it falls incomplete. So the two-point conversion, no good. So the defense gets the stop. I know it's situation to situation, but who has more pressure there, offense or defense, when they go for two? I, st I truly believe it's the defense has more pressure because the offense has an entire playbook wide open from the two-yard line. You can run it, you can throw it. So defensively, I think most teams are going to be aggressive and force the issue and try and bring pressure. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. They trail offense. First time to touch the ball in quarter three. And we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned. Because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. A shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. On first down, it's Gurley. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure you're back. You spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Back now in Atlanta. So they're into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45 yard line. From the shotgun, Ryan.
touchdown. Now Folk for the extra point. He missed one earlier, remember, but this time he gets it to go. Score Patriots 26, Falcons nothing. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Here's Smith to return it. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. First and 10 at their own 30-yard line. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And you can sort of sense their dejection. That last pick six put the icing on the cake, so to speak. And what is it? It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. And I think we can get used to seeing more of that in this fourth quarter, especially if they're having success on the ground like they did there. Yeah, I think back when we met with the head coach in, in preseason, and all he talked about was building a bully. And I think it was this situation he was envisioning, trying to ice a game, plenty of time left, but being able to give the ball to his big runner and pound away and try and finish off a game. run got six now second and four again it's Michelle he'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards Brandon I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces and, and I know it sounds crazy but they practiced for this back in training camp they knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them trying to keep them from locking down a game Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Newton on third down. Looking middle, and that's complete. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground and he's going to get this inside the 30 another nice gain 13 yards that time and another first down we use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field in this case it really fits doesn't it how about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving and brought down but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7 Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. 